So after this, we'll get hammers, right? Yeah, okay. okay, well, the shirt, so look, my mom gave it to me, so I don't know what else to wear. Was, I mean, she gave it to me for some job or something, but, but it hides the mic, see, and why? Oh, yeah, right? I see. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And I've got my phone. All oh, right, so yeah. you can use your mobile to record the whole thing. Right, so, you ready? Let's do Let's it. Let's do this. We're gonna get rid of that thing, I, aren't we? I think it's like our story, right? Sure. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, Justin, this sounds so perfect, and I just, I can't thank you enough for doing this, you know? Well, you know me, I'm almost down for an adventure. <laughs> yeah, and yes. I just. I like helping you. You do? Sure. A lady, right? Yeah, that's right. We gotta look after each other, huh? Always. Sure. Yeah. So, you owe me. Oh, right. Well, let's get coffee. Well, not exactly what I had in mind. Oh, take it. oh my gosh. <laughs> we are in public, so behave, okay? Hey, more the merrier at the party, right? <laughs> oh my. So, um, yeah? Can we get some service here? Yeah, sure. I guess. Is there a problem? You tell me. Not to me. Nor I. Fine then. Can we get uh, two cups of coffee for here, please? Yeah. That'll be seven dollars. It says two fifty for a cup of coffee. Yeah. So together, that's five bucks. Girls gotta make a living somehow, right? Um, that's not no, exactly no, Justin, ethical. Justin, it's okay, it's fine, it's really... Look, here's ten dollars. Just keep the change, okay? Sure. What the hell was that about? Look, I just didn't want to make a scene, and we never have to do that here after Dream, Dream Smith. Uh, yes, um, what should I call Mr. E will be suffice. Okay. I contacted you. Yeah, um, well, have a seat. Uh, should I get you some coffee? No, oh, thanks. I never partake. Right, then. Okay. Right, down to business then. You mentioned in your vids a uh, name, a place. A Gallifrey. You don't want the wrong people to hear you. You never know who might be listening. That barista, even. How do you mean? Because she. she look, like... look, I have some information on this subject. A friend of a friend used to travel with this man. Really? Yes. Uh, he takes on all kinds of different faces, but all of these faces are the same man. The one they call the doctor. You mean he's real? <laughs> Allegedly. Uh, 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 who are these women? Different traveling companions, as he calls them. My friend's aunt was one of these. Uh, he called her Ace. Ace. Uh, How did you come by? Well, if you know where to look, you'll find what you're looking for. It's interesting. What? Why? Look, I know that I'm being recorded. It's okay. As long as you alter my voice and you can't see me, it's fine. I never know who's watching me. I never know what might happen. Strange things happen when you're around this doctor. How do you mean? Just be discreet, that's all. Uh, can I keep these? Do you have... Yeah, I've got extra copies of the files. I'll be in contact. Oh, uh, one more thing. 
this doctor uses a lot of different aliases, but mostly John Smith. Kind of a coincidence, don't you think? Who are you, Jane Smith? That's what I'm trying to figure out. So, oh, hi, YouTube. I'm just checking in. Um, after the last video I shared, the one with the famous Mr. E, as he calls himself, these pictures he gave me, the evidence, well, they look printed off the internet. Not that that takes away from their value or anything. Actually, it's really helping. It's finally helping me to find some answers. This doctor person he seems quite the ladies man he, he's always with some girl um what did mr e call it a, a companion like um like this girl for example she's quite young isn't she and rather cute but so kind of cheeky don't you think and then and then there's this picture it's another girl that he's with. I believe that is the doctor, actually one of his incarnations, is that what it's called? I don't know. He changes his face quite a bit, is what I'm learning. He looks rather familiar. One that I, I really feel that I know. And the girl in this picture, she seems really familiar to me. I don't know why. <laughs> this one, this version of the doctor, he's really quite cute. I wouldn't mind traveling with him if I had the opportunity. <laughs> and then this picture. Have you ever had the experience that you see a picture of someone and you know them? I look at this woman and I feel like... I feel like I know her in my heart. I mean that like... I know her like myself. But you two, why is that? Why does she feel so familiar to me? Do you know? Hey, YouTube. Sing on. I had a dream after a headache last night. It was more like a memory, actually. I'm on this strange planet. It's a very cold planet. With a man with a very, very long scarf. But we get out of a, a sort of box, I don't know. And there's this, this dog, a sort of dog, he's metal, like a robot. And we have to find something, some... It's very, very, very vital, imperative, that we find it before anyone else. Sort of key. We start exploring the planet and meet some of the locals and a lord from another planet and a con artist of some kind who is trying to sell the planet who sells a planet it's very 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 cold and i'm wearing this sort of white ob obnoxious white lacy dress. Why would I wear such a thing? 
not imperative. I also have long brown curly hair, which it is not by any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> curly, that is also not important. We find it at this key and we have to get to it before anyone else does. And then there are these tunnels and a prophet and there's a monster that is trying to eat us and something, I don't know. And this doctor, the, this man with a very long scarf, he, he leaves me and the dog and, and the monster comes and it is running, so much running, a lot of running. I'm physically tired as if as if I was really there, and not just a dream. How could I be making this thing? How could I be making this all up? It is strange that I should have this dream after meeting with Mr. E. Because this girl in the dream, or me in the dream, she, I, she looked like one of the girls from the picture that Mr. E gave me. And this man, and this doctor, he, he looked like one of the doctors in the picture. I'm exhausted. I think I'm going to go back to sleep for a little bit. Post this later. Peace, you. Yeah.